Hey guys, what's up? My name is Adele. Welcome to my channel. This is my May plan with me in my bullet journal. I do want to start by saying I am so sorry that this video is so late. I know we're already a few days into May. I have been so busy because it's been finals and in college that's a really busy and stressful time so I've just had a lot on my plate. So here we are, I got it up. <laughs> uh, I haven't really had time to do much um, with videos and I didn't even do this, like film this video until like April 30th or April 31st. I don't even know how many days are in April, but I was super late myself. So I apologize, hopefully it won't be like this again. So anyway, here we go. So this month is May. I need something super simple and easy because for like the first week it's finals and it's stressful and I need something that will be really easy for me to keep up with. So I'm not really keeping up with a theme this month. As you can see, I kind of just did a bunch of lines because I didn't even have a theme in mind. I sat down and made this and it was super last minute. So a lot of these spreads are similar to everything I've done in the past, not even similar, it's the exact same thing. Um, and I'm not doing a theme, I'm just making a very basic planner. So here is my monthly log. I am doing the calendar style view like I've done in previous months. Uh, I think I just really like it. Uh, it doesn't really give me a lot of space to write in the boxes like for each day, but it is kind of nice to have everything laid out in a calendar form like that. Also, I was so disoriented like while making this, like I was so out of it. I kept messing up on this calendar. Like I was just so out of it. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know if you can tell, but I messed up so many times. Now on the left side, I am doing my social media tracker and on the bottom, my goals. And I've done this in past months. It's pretty much the same layout, except I did forget to draw the little so, uh, social media icons for some reason. Again, I was so out of it, but I did go back in and add those later. Now here I am fixing all of my mistakes in this calendar because I don't know how to count out days apparently. And I'm just bad at months. All right, so moving on, these next two pages, I have my expense tracker and my gratitude log. Again, these are super similar to things I've done in the past. And I know in my last bullet journal video, I was talking about how I haven't really been using my expense tracker that much lately. So I was really gonna try to use it in April. And I did for like the first week and then I kind of stopped. So I don't really know why I'm putting this in here again because I just, I just don't really use it. I don't find it useful anymore and I really need to find a better way to track my expenses and like my budget and stuff. So if any of you have suggestions, feel free to comment down below and let me know because I could really use some help. All right, so on the next page, I have all of my lovely trackers that I love so much, if you know me. So I am doing a very basic layout that I've always done. I really enjoy this layout. I really think it works for me, and I just think I'm going to keep using it. So I'm sorry if you want to see more variety in that. Maybe I'll find a new kind of spread that I like, but for now, I really like this. So on the first page, on, like on the left side, I have my habit tracker and then my mood tracker and on the bottom page i have my sleep tracker and my water tracker again this layout is the same thing that i've used in a lot of my previous videos so if you want to see how i use these in some of my other spreads in my past months don't forget to check out my bullet journal playlist. I will link it down below. It'll be at the end and I will put it on the screen right now. So don't forget to check that out and I will just go through this without talking. Okay.
Alright, so moving on to the next page, I am doing my weekly spread. I don't remember if I've filmed this type of spread before because I am doing something different. I don't think I've filmed it because I don't think I've used it in my spread like when I've done a plan with me. So, but I was going to make a video of like four different weekly spread ideas, but somehow all of my footage got deleted and I couldn't upload it and I had already filmed it and it's like a bullet journal thing so I couldn't like just redo it. So here is one of those. Um, I've been using it a lot lately and I actually really do like it. It's a nice way to have everything laid out and you can go back and separate each box for like the day into two different sections for events and tasks which is something that I do a lot and it's something that I've incorporated in my weekly spreads a lot in the past. Alright, so that is it for this month's plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so sorry it was late, but I hope you can gather some inspiration from this for your bullet journal if you were also a little late to the party, or just for next month. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.